What's up everybody, welcome back. Thank you so much for taking the time to hang out. EMT here and in this video we are sharing five reasons why I love the DJI OM5. Let's dive in. In the past, we've actually covered pretty much every DJI Osmo gimbal there is, starting from the very first DJI Osmo all the way through the recent DJI OM4. If this is your first time here and you have not seen our videos on the DJI Osmo products, make sure you check the links in the description and if you haven't already, consider subscribing and liking down below. The DJI OM5 will set you back 159 US dollars and the package includes everything you need to get started, including the DJI OM5 itself, a tripod, the magnetic phone clamp, similar to the previous DJI OM4, a USB cable, a wrist strap, and a storage pouch. Now jumping straight to reason number one is gonna be the brand new extension rod. This is the very first DJI gimbal that has the extension rod capability. This thing can extend to 250 millimeters, giving you even greater distance in order to capture more in the frame. If you're vlogging and you have friends and family behind you, this allows you to get a little bit more distance and have more room for people in the frame. And it's fantastic, not only for that, but also if you're traveling and there's a monument behind you, that gives you the ability to capture more without having to walk further away from your subject. It is also incredibly useful for achieving cinematic shots like crane shots and slider shots. Maybe you wanna go underslung, upside down, close to the ground. This gimbal gives you the capability to go further without having to bend or crouch or get into uncomfortable situations. I took it with me to Disneyland and I was able to capture above the crowd shots on different events that were happening throughout the park and even being able to film above fences and getting a little bit better angles. The more you use the DJI OM5 with the extension rod capability, the more you get used to the possibilities. You start discovering scenes that you're like, oh, wait a minute, I can actually go above this fence or I can actually go lower, very close to the ground following somebody's footsteps. And it just opens up the possibility for a lot more dynamic shots. Reason number two is gonna be the three axis image stabilization. And we took it out for a spin just so we can compare the image quality as well as the stabilization quality between the OM5 and just going good old fashioned handheld. Now I gotta say, DJI is known for the legendary civilization. There's honestly nothing else to say. It's very, very good. It's very, very similar to the DJI OM4. And because these smartphones are getting even better than before at digitally stabilizing your videos, the combination of them both is gonna lead to much better video with not only better stabilization, right? But the stabilization itself is one piece of the puzzle, but the sharpness of the video, the color, how the overall picture is perceived is definitely gonna be impacted by the stabilization. So if you've ever been in situations where you end up with shaky video or an event is coming up, I definitely recommend getting your hands on the DJI OM5. Now, when we compare the design of the DJI OM5 versus the previous DJI OM4 version, we can actually see some refinement in the actual size of the handle. Things are a little bit smaller, a little bit tighter, which is 
amazing in my opinion because it fits in a lot more pockets than before. If you fold this thing, it is virtually the size of my hand and I can put this in my back pocket. If I'm wearing a jacket, I can use it in one of the insider pockets and that way keep everything tight without carrying too much stuff. But if you're bringing the complete solution like the tripod, maybe a charging cable, you can actually compartmentalize everything into the storage pouch and it's a welcomed addition. It's definitely a small tweak, but every inch counts so as small as possible, the better it is when going out and about and filming for long periods of times. Now the DJI OM5 has a 290 gram max payload capacity. So that means that your big phones like the Google Pixel 6 Pro or the iPhone 13 Pro Max will fit no problem. I've been able to push the DJI OM5 to its limit by adding additional things like filters or microphones and things like that. So it is a very capable gimbal. It is very strong. Now, before we proceed, this video is brought to you by ExpressVPN. Sending data over unencrypted internet, it's like sending a postcard. Your message is wide open for the mailman and any nosy people to see. But a VPN or virtual private network creates a private tunnel between your devices and the internet. In other words, it puts an envelope around your postcard so nobody can see your private correspondence. Some internet service providers keep your website traffic information for up to two years. ExpressVPN puts a stop to all that by encrypting your internet connection and hiding your location. Many websites or apps are locked based on your location around the world. ExpressVPN allows you to reroute your connection to a server in a different country of your choice, making geo restrictions a thing of the past. ExpressVPN gives me that peace of mind when I'm out on the field recording, uploading, downloading from public Wi-Fi or simply networks that I can't control. I love the fact that it hides my location so I don't get targeted ads based on where I am and being able to access content that it's not available in my location is pretty awesome too. Find out how you can get three months free by clicking the link in the description or visit expressvpn.com slash EMT films. Thank you ExpressVPN for sponsoring this video. Reason number three is shoot guides. Now shoot guides automatically recognize the scenes that you're filming and it recommends tips and templates so you can film better videos. And they're actually pretty good. They do recognize the scene I was shooting in the ocean and the gimbal was recommending scenes and it actually showed me examples from the beach, right? It does have templates that give you kind of like a stencil for you to follow. Hey, maybe capture this kind of shot, maybe capture that other kind of shot in order to build a compelling story of your environment and your experience. And at the end of the day, the more options, the more tools we have, the better we get. So I appreciate the fact that DJI is including tools not only for experienced users, but also for brand new users that might feel a little intimidated at first. Some of us emulate shots of the past and things that we see, and a lot of people might need that extra inspiration, that extra push, and I'm all for it. Reason number four is active tracking. Still to this day, in my opinion, the champ of active track is DJI. It is getting better and better. And what this allows you to do is track a phase or a subject and have the gimbal follow you. This function is based on the DJI Mimo app, which by the way, is the brains of the operation here. You could totally use your native camera app, which is my default camera of preference, but you can also use the DJI Mimo app to expand those capabilities, one of them being the active tracking and a lot of other shot modes. But the fact that active track keeps getting better and better, no matter where you move, it follows you. Even in situations where lighting is not its best, it has substantially gotten better from the previous iterations of active track and I'm here for it. If you're looking not only to capture tutorials, videos, or you just simply want to follow a family member or a pet around, Aptic Track just simply allows you to select a target and let the gimbal follow them, which is really, really easy, really cool, and just effortless. And reason number five is going to be the video modes. The DJI OM5 continues to expand and improve their video modes within the DJI Mimo app. Modes like Panorama that allow you to create even wider than before by just simply taking separate images and stitching them together. Just simply go to the Panorama mode and press the button and that's it. The DJI OM5 does it for you. This is not a brand new mode or anything, but I have seen the improvement over the years and it just removes the effort. <laughs> 
out of the whole equation. Just pretty much put it on a table or set it right in front of your scene and let the gimbal work for you. Another mode that's pretty fun and engaging is a clone me pano. This one allows you to clone yourself and it gives you a countdown so you can move throughout the scene and then clone yourself and have multiple versions of you in the same shot. And it's really cool because prior to this, the barrier of entry was knowing Photoshop, knowing how to work with layers and things like that. And now anybody can go ahead and create video modes like story mode that automatically give you a preset with music, transition, and virtually the edits Story mode became available in previous iteration of the DJI Mimo app, but they've continued to innovate. They've continued to add new transitions, new kinds of scenes and new moves for the gimbal to perform. And all you really have to do is capture a video where it's two, three or four or five seconds and it just edits it for you, which is awesome. A lot of my time is spent sitting in front of the computer. So for social media posts and things like that, we can definitely create compelling video with literally zero editing and just get it out into the world. And I can see how a lot of parents during the holidays might wanna be able to capture a lot of compelling video of their kids or entrepreneurs that might not really have a lot of time to edit video for their projects, products, or real estate listings, things like that. The story mode gives you the option to just simply pick a template and just fill the blanks with what the DJI Mimo app is asking for and come out with an edited video with music, transitions, the whole thing. And that's pretty cool. Another video mode that has seen improvements because of the brand new design of the UM5 and the newer updates for the Mimo app is the dynamic zoom mode. This mode allows you to easily capture dolly zoom shots and that's that push pull effect when you're zooming in, you're moving backwards, or when you're zooming out, you're moving forward. And that gives you that amazing immersive focus effect on a subject. You've been always able to do this, but it requires a lot of precision, a lot of trial and error. And with the OM5 and the DJI Mimo app, it's easier than ever. Time lapse makes a triumphant return. It is as you expect. You can actually preset not only your intervals for your camera to fire their shots, but at the same time, you can pick different positions and have a motion time lapse, right? Going from point A to point B in X amount of time gives you those really nice swooping time lapse shots. Whether it's a family gathering, a sunrise, a sunset, or just traffic moving by, the software and how smooth the moves are with the DIY 5 make the time lapse even better than ever. And my favorite mode is gonna be the spin shot. This one gives you that inception looking kind of shot where the screen rotates from left to right. And this often brings in a little bit more of a cinematic approach to your arsenal, right? You can combine these kinds of shots, whether you're shooting a sliding shot or a crane shot. Now you have the option to incorporate that spin shot and the gimbal does it for you. Not a brand new mode, but because of the improvements of the design of the DJI OM5, as well as the Mimo app, things are even better than before. Now, if you already have a DJI OM4, should you upgrade to the DJI OM5? That is the question. And in my opinion, it's a split yes and no. Yes, if you are in situations, if you frequent environments in which you would rather capture a lot more in the frame with the extension capability, absolutely, go ahead. It is a fantastic upgrade. You already know how to use the DJI OM4. You can translate that experience into the DJI OM5 and even more because you have that extension capability, which by the way, not only extends, but it also has the ability for you to tilt the top of the gimbal. And this opens up a lot more doors for better angles, better shots, if you are in that kind of environment. Maybe you're a concert goer. Maybe you go to a lot of events, family gatherings and things like that, and you'd rather capture a lot more in the frame. Maybe you're a live streamer, right? Being able to separate yourself from the camera a little bit more gives you more room to play and more environment to capture. So those things are very, very impactful. Maybe you just wanna take pictures, right? This is the perfect merger of the good old fashioned selfie stick on steroids. So if you're that person looking to level up from the existing knowledge, maybe you're in the OM2 or OM3, right? Jumping to the OM5 is gonna give you that additional tool set. Having said that, stabilization-wise, payload capacity-wise is very, very similar to the DJI OM4. If you are happy with your OM4, stay with your OM4. There's absolutely no need to upgrade if you are getting what you want 
out of your DJI Run 4, or you can probably find a DJI Osmo Mobile 3 for around $100. So there are a lot of options out there for people that might not need the extension rod capability. If you're brand new to the game of image stabilization for smartphones, I absolutely recommend the DJI Run 5 because everything that it does, it does very, very well. Their software is by far one of the most consistent pieces of the equation here and the motors and the algorithms for their stabilization are top notch. But I wanna know what you think. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you have any questions or suggestions, drop them down there so we can continue to create relevant content for you. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. All the links for the GGI 015 are down in the description. And as always, thank you for sharing your time with me. I'll catch you on the next one.